Hey guys, it's Mike. It's Dan. It's the mom who stole a drumstick but got 300,000 yuan. What? So this actually, um, I think it's a pretty touching story. Now, I'm, I'm gonna first say I'm not, I don't condone Let's stealing. Let's not condone stealing, stealing um, no matter what kind of condition you're in. But also, everyone has a different case. Yeah, know? this isn't like the mom who you know, was caught on video teaching her daughter how to shoplift. Yeah. Okay. So there's a mom and she has twin daughters who suffer from kidney disease. Yeah. And it costs a lot of money just to go take her to the hospital where they get treated. Yeah. And the treatment costs money as well, even though I thought Chinese government paid for some of that. But anyways, that's a whole different thing. So Children's Day comes around. That is a national holiday. That's basically like, it's like Christmas for the kids, right? Um, there's no Children's Day here, but that's Christmas. So she has no money. She makes $50 a day. She's a trash collector, 50 yuan a yeah. day. And the kids are sick. So she's at the supermarket and she sees that the chicken drumsticks are on sale. So she couldn't resist. She grabbed, grabbed the chicken drumsticks yeah. and then she stole a couple of children's books as gifts for her twins and she got arrested. Yeah. She got caught. So of course, I mean, it's already sad. Like she can't afford the treatment. She can't afford gifts. She has to steal for them. Uh, she makes no money, and she is. She got div this made me mad. She got divorced by her husband yeah. in China because he couldn't afford the uh, treatment for the girls. Right. So wow. I mean, yeah. So this this woman obviously is going through some hardship, and uh, and uh, she was you know I mean you could kind of understand. I mean why you, she did all this. I mean, I can understand. Yeah, and also I feel like this is kind of a rare case because usually, you know, there's a lot of reports about, you know, the police being whatever. I mean, there's, we're not saying every every police is heartless, every Correct. police is whatever. So in this case, they felt bad for her. They felt really bad for her. And, and so one of the police officers, she's kind of actually touched by her story. Yeah. He posted her story to WeChat. Yeah. And actually right then and there, he it got um, people to help. and It raised 10,000 yuan in that little short amount of time. 10,000 yuan, that's yeah. over a thousand dollars. And she makes 50 yuan. She makes like $3 a day or five, $5 a day or whatever, yeah. $4 a day. And then when this story caught national attention, it was reported that she got over 300,000 yuan as a donation yeah. for her daughters. I mean, it basically helps take care of her daughters. So that's life changing money. I, I mean, that's, op that's an Oprah moment right there. That's literally like your life has changed, and 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 I'm I'm so I'm really happy for her. I mean I I, I hope that it's a true story and that the lady wasn't making stuff up. Well, which I also think, also I hope the money all went to her because yeah. that's all, that's another that's another that's, dude dude because uh, yeah, yeah yeah you know yeah. what I mean you don't want you you hope that it wasn't somebody using her story to get money yeah. and then not giving her because that could be possible too. Yes, right. it happens all the time, especially in other countries. Um, so this is a really good happy ending. And I mean, it's pretty touching. You could tell like people were touched by um, her, her actions and it kind of brought up another debate, which is like, why? I mean, there's so many people that aren't cared for and you're talking about a system that's supposed to care for them. Well, no, no, it's not. It's it, not. It's not built to care for people. Like in China, you know, if you starve, you starve. But like, can't you go get food? Where? Like, is is don't no. people get don't people, nope. don't the not government really. hand out food? I mean, not even, really. Even in New York, even in America, not really. You, do you know how many starving people there are in China? Like, there's 1.6 oh. billion people okay. in China. Okay, but you can't qualify. I mean, like, can't you do something? No. There's nothing that can nothing be done. You can do in China when you're poor, when you're starving, you're poor and you're starving. That's it. That is crazy. Like, unless some some person be like, hey, here's a here's a handout, whatever. Where there could be some organizations, right. but we all know after the uh, earthquake incident, the strong earthquake right. incident, that over like there's a, like enormous amount of charitable organizations that are actually frauds and they just oh, take absolutely. the money. So you don't know what they're doing. Oh my gosh! But there's really not a system in place to, right. to help people in China because there's too many. And that's one of the criticisms, or I guess netizens were commenting like. The, a mother shouldn't have to resort to stealing chicken and books. Yeah, uh, you know, for her for her sick daughters. Right. Um, and 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 what really this the part that made me so mad is you know we do this is why we also do the uplifting stories when we see that th like for example the son takes the dad to the university the sick dad so yeah. he can care for him family sticking together doctors with no legs caring for people in the villages the d the dad left the abandoned the dad was probably the one making the money. Right, and abandoned the 
right. the household. And it happens a lot for his own sake. Right. I mean, come on, dude. I mean, so yeah, I mean, unfortunately it happens a lot. It also happens a lot where the dad travels ab uh, abroad. Basically, like, I'm gonna send you guys money. Oh, and it no. just kind of starts a new life that happens all the time. Because so it's sad to see these situations, but you know. Because in America, you, you divorce somebody, you owe them child support right, and alimony. In China, honestly, a lot of times it's like the wild, wild west. It really is, dude. So, I mean, this is so sad to see, and she's probably not the only one. No, you know of course so, not. This happens so oh, often. Geez, it's like, it's geez. sad, but I'm glad, yeah. you know, I'm glad she's taking care of her circumstance as that right. hopefully got better because hopefully the money made it to her. Yep. Um, so, you know. I, and also, hopefully people don't try to pretend after they see the story to get donations. I hope that this yeah. is just a, you know, let, let this be what this is, a very touching story, and hopefully nothing bad comes out of it. Yeah. yeah. So let us hear your thoughts. Thanks for watching. Later. See ya.